uh, on a much more far-reaching scale, something similar is happening in Asia. The, uh, as you know, uh, one of Obama's major policies was the so-called pivot to age, Asia, which was actually a measure to confront China uh, transparently. Uh, one component of the uh, pivot to Asia was the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which excluded China, tried to bring in other Asia-Pacific countries. Well, that seems to be on its way to collapse, uh, for pretty good reasons, I think. But uh, uh, at, the, at the same time, there's another international trade agreement that is expanding and growing, namely China's region, what they call their Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, which is now drawing in U.S. allies. Uh, from Peru to Australia to Japan. Uh, the U.S. will probably choose to stay out of it, uh, just as the United States virtually alone has stayed away from China's Asian Infrastructure Development Bank, a kind of counterpart to the World Bank that the U.S. has opposed for many years, but has now been joined by practically all U.S. allies, uh, Britain and others. Uh, that's uh, at the same time, China is expanding uh, to the West uh, with the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, the China-based Silk Roads. The, the uh, whole system is an integrated system of uh, energy resource uh, sharing and so on. Uh, it includes Siberia with its rich resources. It includes India and Pakistan. Uh, Iran uh, it will soon join, it, it appears, and probably Turkey. This will extend all the way from China to Europe. Uh, the United States has asked for observer status, and it's been rejected, not permitted. Uh, one of the major commitments of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, the whole of the Central Asian states, is that there can be no U.S. military bases in this entire region. Uh, another st step towards isolation may t soon take place if uh, the president-elect carries through his uh, promise to terminate the nuclear weapons, the nuclear deal with Iran. Uh, other countries who are parties to the deal might well continue. Uh, they might even ignore Europe, mainly. That means ignoring U.S. sanctions. That will extend U.S. isolation, even from Europe. And in fact, Europe might move under these circumstances uh, towards backing off from the confrontation with Russia. Actually, Brexit may assist with this, because Britain was the voice of the United States in NATO, the harshest voice, now it's out, gives Europe some opportunities. Uh, there were choices in 1990-91, time of the collapse of the Soviet Union. Uh, Mikhail Gorbachev uh, had a, what he called a vision of a common European home, a, an integrated uh, a uh, cooperative system of security, uh, commerce, interchange, no military alliances from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Uh, the U.S. insisted on a different vision, namely Soviet Union collapses, and NATO remains and indeed expands uh, right up to the borders of Russia now, where very serious threats uh, are, uh, are, are evident uh, daily. Well, all of this, these are significant developments. They're related to the widely discussed uh, matter of decline of American power.